Yo, what is going on guys? Stiff, and we're back with the last Madden NFL 16 player ratings and team breakdowns, and we're going to con conclude our division previews with the NFC West. If you guys are new to the series, this is where we went over all the top five Madden 16 player ratings in each division and all the top four team breakdowns in each division in the NFL League in a whole in each video. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys go check out those videos. You're not going to want to miss them because we are doing everything hard for Madden NFL 16. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys go check out those videos if you guys have not. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And also, while you're at it, hit this video with a like so we know that you guys are enjoying this whole series and the channel. So like I said, EA just announced the NFC West today. And we are going to be concluding our division previews with the NFC West. Going over the top four teams in the division, starting off with the 78 overall St. Louis Rams. The Rams may not make the playoffs in a crowded NFC West, but they will be a tough out. The arrival of QB Nick Foles, 78 overall, is an intriguing storyline, and he'll quickly become acquainted with tight end Jared Cook, 84 overall, and wide receiver Kenny Britt, 82 overall. The Rams have a pair of Capable running backs in rookie Todd Gurley, 80 overall, who's like Marshawn Lynch, Marshawn Lynch esque, and Trey Mason, 79 overall, who's known for his speed. The defensive line is the strength of his team, starting with right end Robert Quinn, 94 overall, just misses the top five. He's probably number six. And defensive rookie of the year, Aaron Donald, 92 overall, who is top five. Defensive tackle Nick Fairley, 86 overall, is quality new addition. William Hayes, 86 overall, and Chris Long, 84 overall, will alternate at left end. The Rams have a stacked defensive line. I'm talking stack, buddy. If they are going to be able to get to the quarterback and get to the running back very quickly. I will definitely be looking to use the St. Louis Rams, especially on that defensive line. They are going to be nasty. Uh, as far as the secondary and linebacking, not really sure what they got, but I'm pretty sure you can make it work with the defense. Offensive wide, Todd, Todd Gurley is going to be a beast. I, I know he is. A, if, oh, as long as he doesn't get hurt, he's going to be a beast, but you're going to be a little wary on the quarterback position with Nick Foles. Hopefully, he can get his overall up a little bit, and then you'll be a okay to use the St. Louis Rams, especially with Jared Cook. He's got pretty good speed at tight end. Which brings us to the number three team in the NFC West, the San Francisco 49ers. 78 overall, the 49ers weathered a storm of change in the offseason, but they retained a few quality players to continue onward. The play of QB Colin Kaepernick, 81 overall, will determine whether or not San Francisco remains a contender in the NFC West. The Niners let veteran Frank Gore go in free agency, but have an impressive replacement in Halfback Carlos Hyde, 77 overall. New additions, Torrey Smith, 86 overall, who's got pretty good speed. Joins Anquan Bolden, 88 overall, who has good catch and traffic as wide receiver starters. And tight end Vernon Davis, 84 overall, returns. He's got pretty good speed. Middle linebacker Navarro Bowman, 93 overall. Strong safety Antoine Bethéo, 91 overall. And right outside linebacker Alden Smith, 89 overall, who's not on the team anymore, so scratch that. Alden Smith was an 89 overall, not on the team anymore. Are the linchpins of the defense and lost standouts, Justin Smith, Patrick Willis, and Chris Borland to retirement. Youngster Aaron Lynch, 79 overall, will probably get start over Ahmad Brooks, 80 overall, at left outside linebacker. Now, the 49ers went from the best linebacking core to literally the worst, well not the worst, but to like a piss poor average middle linebacking core with only Navarro Bowman to really grace. <laughs> and they don't got Alden Smith, Patrick Willis retired, um, Ahmad Brooks is only 80 overall now. Not looking good for the San Francisco 49ers at linebacking position or really else anywhere else. They lost Justin Smith. Uh, their defense just went downhill. They got a good strong safety. It's about it. Offensive wise, not a very good team. They In Madden 25, they used to be the team to beat. They would hit stick you into the ground and they would make you fumble, but that is not going to be the case this, this year. I just don't see the 49ers being a good team at all and Colin Kaepernick is going to be throwing ducks all over the field. That's just my take for Madden NFL.
But anyway, let's get into the number two team in the NFC West, the 82 overall Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals were sitting at 11-3 atop the NFC when injuries took their toll. If QB Carson Palmer, 83 overall, is healthy, Arizona will be tough again. Wide receivers Larry Fitzgerald, 87 overall, and Michael Floyd, 83 overall, are standout receiver duo. And new left guard Mike Upatati, 88 overall, joins left tackle Jared Veldheer, 90 overall. I'm really not sure if I got those last names right. To form a dominant left side of Arizona's offensive line. In the secondary, cornerback Patrick Peterson, 89 overall. We find out what his overall is. Free safety Tyron Matthew, 83 overall. And strong safety Dion Buchanan, 77 overall. Continue to play well. Excellent. Left end, Calais Campbell, 95 overall, is at the defensive line star who's top five, but Arizona may miss the departure of Darnell Dockett. Now, let me tell you, Arizona Cardinals look nice. They look a little nice. I'm not going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If, they, if Carson Palmer can up his overall a little bit, he's going to be able to throw to Larry Fitzgerald and Michael Floyd. They're going to be a good duo. They got a pretty good line to the left side of the field, so he can run the ball to the left side of the field. I would with both those uh, tackles. And they got Patrick Peterson, Tyron Matthew, pretty good secondary, and Dion, Dion Buchanan. And they got some pretty good people who can actually rush the passer. Arizona Cardinals, I think, are going to be a pretty good team to use in Madden NFL 16 at launch. But that's going to bring us to the standout team in the NFC West. We're all going to know it's going to be the 91 overall Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks suffered a heartbreak in the Super Bowl, but are still loaded. Quarterback Russell Wilson, 89 overall. We find out where he is. And halfback Marshawn Lynch, 96 overall, who's the best, best halfback in the game. We'll welcome new tight end Jimmy Graham, 94, 95 overall, top five. The number three spot may go to Super Bowl standout Chris Matthews, 74 overall, who's 6'5". There are some questions on the offensive line as center Lemieux. Jean Pierre, 72 overall. I tried. I tried on that one. Must replace Pro Bowl center Max Unger. New additions, cornerback Kerry Williams, 82 overall. Will start opposite of cornerback Richard Sherman, 97 overall, who's the best cornerback in the game. The excellent safety was a return of free safety Earl Thomas III, 95 overall. And strong safety Cam Chancellor, 90 overall. Now, obviously, this is going to be the team that everyone's going to want to use, especially in the tournament scene. They still got basically all their hard hitters left. Uh, they don't really say any words of their linebacking position or their defensive or their defensive tackle, but I do know uh, Bennett is a top five defensive or left end or right end in Madden NFL 16, so he's going to be there. This is probably going to be the team to be again in Madden NFL 16 at launch, along with the Green Bay Packers, New England Patriots, all those top 10 or top 5 level tier teams. And this is probably going to be a team that I, I'm probably going to use, but I did say I do think I'm going to be using the Packers more than the Seahawks. Unless Russell Wilson could get his overall to like a 95, then I might be jumping on board the Seattle Seahawks bandwagon and using them in tournaments. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the NFC West, and that's going to conclude our division previews and team breakdowns for Madden NFL 16 at launch. Let me hear it in the comment sections. What do you guys think of the overalls? Who got snubbed? Who deserves to be higher? I love the comments that we've been getting on this series. I love everything about it. I love you guys. So make sure you guys hit this video with a like and let me hear it in the comic section what you guys think and i will see you guys in our next video peace